Hey guys. Okay, today I'm going to show you the difference between using Frenchy Lip and Cheek for underneath your eye for any darkness or Mango, which is a highlight. So depending on whichever color you got matched with, this will be how you will go ahead and conceal underneath your eye, but using one or the other. So I've actually already used a little bit of Mango right here, concealing some sunspots, but I wanted to show you what happens when you go into Frenchie and you put it underneath your eye. So this is just a little mini version. This is what happens around the holidays. They did a little advent calendar and they gave us this little tiny, it almost was like little samples of all the colors, which was super fun. So if they do that again this year, make sure you scoop it up. And all I am doing is coming right underneath and tapping a little bit of Frenchy right underneath, just like that. Now on the top of my eye, it's also a little translucent, so I'm just gonna tap a little bit on the top of my eye as well. So after you do this, you're gonna let it warm up to your skin, and then you're just gonna blend it with your brush, and then you would just put your regular, um, 3D foundation over it to get rid of the color because otherwise it's gonna stay that color, but it's great. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the blend brush. It's warmed up and we're just gonna kind of blend this in, but see even just blending it makes a difference. The first time I had ever had somebody say, we're gonna put a blush underneath your eye and it's gonna get rid of the darkness. I was like, so what? <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now is just take that same brush. This is a very light applicator, so I really love it for underneath your eyes. It's really sensitive underneath your eyes, so you just want to make sure you're taking care of it. I'm just going to come into my, my normal color that I use. I'm just tapping in there, and I'm just going to come through and just kind of like tap over the Frenchie. And see how it got rid of it? I'm just going to tap on the top of the eye. Just getting rid of the pink color, and this would be more of your face color. And look, it's not super dark for me. Like underneath my eye is not super dark, but it's there, especially when I zoom in. And it is so nice to know that once I do this and then I do the rest of my face, I can just wake my entire face up and that way you don't look like you're tired you don't look like you're sleeping right okay so let's go do the other side we're just going to use mango over here so mango is a highlight i'm just going to tap it same manner now you can also use sandstone if you have really dark underneath your eyes you can use sandstone. Um, if you have greens, you can use petal. So there are a bunch of different things depending on. So if Frenchie and Mango don't work, these are the most two common, just reach out and I can help you and we can try a different combination for you, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing. And you can use any of your brushes. I just really prefer this blend brush. I just really like the very, look at that, Just just even the mango. So mango is closer to my skin color, right? So I don't necessarily need to go ahead and cover it too much. So I'm just gonna come through with my Sandy. So Sandy is my main highlight color and I'm just kind of tapping that around. Isn't that amazing what happens? It's just a little bit. It's kind of wild. Okay, so I'm gonna also tap into the mango because I wanna show you around my nose is a little bit red and if you wanted to come through and kind of just get rid of a little bit of redness but keep your makeup very natural, you can just tap into this mango color. And let me show you what that looks like if you don't know. It's one of these tins that are all magnetic and I'm literally just tapping like this. I'm, and you can see it's already gone down. I'm using very minimal and it is buildable. So you just wanna kind of start small or start light, I should say. So same thing with my chin, right? So start light and you can come through. So you can take your 3D makeup and you can make it very minimal or you can dot it all over and blend it in and make it more like the next level or you can actually apply with the brushes and you can apply with your 3D brush and stamp it and actually make it a little bit heavier. The cool part is, is you're using all the same makeup 
It just depends on what brush you use and how you apply it and you can get a bunch of different looks. So even if I was just like going to the gym and I wanted to just, and it's two-sided brush, so it's really nice, you can come right here like this. And uh, let's say I'm going to the gym and I just wanted to get rid of a little bit of sunspots and just a little bit of redness, but I don't really want a whole lot on my face. You can go ahead and get exactly the look that you want, head out the door, very minimal makeup, and you are done. So great, right? You do not have to cake it on. You do not have to do the same way twice. I think I love it. I do recommend taking the setting spray and the Burt Bender sponge. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Talk about a frog in your throat. I do recommend taking the, the Perfector sponge with the setting spray on it. So you just want to get this wet and just kind of tapping over everything. This will make sure it all stays in place. It lasts all day long. And then you have like nothing to worry about. You're good to go. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for being with me. Frog it all. <laughs> Bye.